I'm going to break down for you how to get recruiters at your dream employer to notice you using LinkedIn. This is going to take me more than 30 seconds, folks. If you don't have time, bookmark it and come back. So first up in the process is for you to understand that recruiters who pay for what's called a recruiter seat on LinkedIn see your profile differently than other people. In particular, it actually tells them how many people you are connected to at the company. Now, why does that matter? Well, the more people you're connected to, the more likely they are to click on your profile and call you for an interview. Why is that? Because in a lot of ways, it's very similar to being referred. They're seeing you connected to all these people and thinking, well, if you're connected to all these people that work at our company, huh, you must be like a referral. This really does work. So what you need to do is focus in on getting people at the company to what? Connect with you. So how do we do that? Well, you're going to customize connection requests. You're going to send them a message and say, hey, can we connect? I'd love to share a quick story with you about your company and why I'm such a fan. Okay. Now, not everyone will connect. So you're going to need to try to get to five to 10 people in order to maybe get two or three to connect. But when they do, you immediately want to respond with your what? Your connection story, the thing I teach you here all the time on this app. And you're going to explain to them why their business and what the company does is really impressive to you and where you learn that, right? So you're going to respond back and say, thank you so much. And at the end, you're going to put a PS. PS, I would absolutely love to do an informational interview with you, just 10 minutes of your time to hear your story and why you love working there and what you think it takes to be successful there. I'm not asking for you to help me to get a job. I just really want to learn more about you. So it's a little PS about the informational interview. Now, again, not everyone will say yes, but some will, especially if you stick with this. And when you get on the phone, you're respectful of their time, you keep it to 10 minutes, and you ask all your questions around their experience at the company. But at the very end, when you're thanking them for their time, you say, you know, can you think of one person in the company that I could really learn a lot from, like I learned from you today? Would you be willing to give me an introduction? Everyone can think of one person. And so they give you the name of the person. A lot of times they'll make the introduction for you. But now what do you do? You send a custom connection request to that person. But this time you say, hey there, so-and-so recommended I connect with you. Can we connect? Well, now they know the person in the company. So they go ahead and accept the connection request. And again, you message them and say, here's my story. I'm a huge fan of the company. Would you be willing to do, P.S., would you be willing to do an informational interview so I can learn about you? So you're going to have this all figured out. Now, again, not everyone's going to do it, but it's a numbers game. And if you keep doing it, you're going to what? Amass connections, but also do these informational interviews where you actually meet people. Now, why should you do this? Again, when the recruiter contacts you, you're going to be able to say, yeah, I'm such a fan of the company. I connected with X number of people. I even spoke to a couple of people. But even better, if you see a job at the company that you're a fan of, you apply to the job and then you immediately go message all those people that connected with you and especially the ones that did the informational interviews and you simply say, I wanted to send you a big thank you. The XYZ job got posted at your company today. I just applied and I'm so excited. All of the things that you shared with me really inspired me. Thank you so much. Notice you're not asking them to introduce you to the hiring manager or anything like that. You are just giving them thanks and showing your gratitude. But when you get to message all those people and just send gratitude, you know what some of them are going to do? Forward your message to the hiring manager and the recruiter. It really does work. Now, if you made it this far and you're saying, that sounds like a lot of work, JT, I'm going to come back and just say this to you. What's a job at your dream employer worth to you? You got to put some skin in the game and you're investing here in the sense that if you don't get this job, you still have all these network connections there. So you keep doing it and you apply again and eventually you will get your job. You just got to stick with it. All right. So I hope that made sense. I hope you give it a try and I hope you decide to connect with me on LinkedIn. Go over and find me on LinkedIn. But most importantly, I hope you keep the questions coming. I am enjoying so much being on this app, giving you as much job search and career advice as I can. OK, so like and follow here. Post your questions down below so I can answer them for you, too. And P.S. If you need any free resources, you know, I got a ton of job search resources linked in my bio for you as well. Good luck. Go get them.